So I pulled up my journal just to look up where I should find the Nerano Ancestral Tomb. It's to the north, but you're a stranger and you may get lost. So go west until you reach the mountains, then turn north and follow the mountains, keeping them on your left. When you pass the ruins of Nucha left, keep your eyes to the east, looking for an entrance flanked by two trees on the western slope of a hill in the center of the Grazelands. Well, I'm going north. Mountains on my left. So we're on the right path. I don't know if I've found Nucha left yet. The problem is, a lot of the Dwemer ruins. Eventually, the names just all sound the same. But I'll just keep my eyes open, so I'm not sure if that's one that I've discovered yet. It might be, or it might not be. Uh-oh. Who do we have over here? Uh, whoever this is. Oh, there's two of them. At least two of them. There's three of them that I can see. Well, they have a little bit of a camp over here. I suppose I will say hello. See what they're up to. Hopefully they're, uh, friendly. Oh, oh, oh! Not friendly. Okay. Oh, she over-encumbered me. Is she actually draining my... Uh, okay, no. She's... It's just burden. Burden wears off. That's fine. That's fine. As long as she's not actually draining it. Oh, I'm paralyzed. Can you guys not... I should probably switch weapons. Umbra it is. I have you. Yeah, let's just make my life a little simpler, why don't we? Oh, I missed. Alright, there we go. I'm always so excited. I'm like, oh, there's gonna be people I can talk to. There's gonna be friendly people. And then, lo and behold, they all just attack me. I'm just trying to make friends here. I'm just trying to be a nice, kind Nereverine. And here we are, just attacking me for no reason. 50 gold. Well, you know what? I'll take it. I might as well, because... You know, just for my time and my effort and the fact that they tried to murder me. I'm taking that gold. It's mine. I deserve it. So I eventually found the right way to go, and I was honestly <clears throat> going the wrong way, which I had considered as a possibility. Oh, that's a lot of lightning. Uh, when I started walking north. Because there's two sets of mountains, is the thing. There's the the outer set of mountains and then the inner set of mountains uh, for Red Mountain. And I had passed through the outer ring of mountains to get to the Elith Pal mine. And I was going, you know, in between those two layers of mountains, those two sets of mountains through that valley, sort of. But I had to come back out to the outer ring, and you can't really see it, but I got a glimpse of it right before the lightning and the rain started, but there is a Dwemer ruin up ahead this way, up north. You can't see it now, but two seconds ago, right before the rain, I swear you could see it beautifully. Perfectly, even. But once I get to the Dwemer ruins, to Nucha left, keep my eyes to the east. Alright, if you could stop that, it's really unfair. <laughs> what are these cr like, why does he have magical abilities? He's just a diseased elite, but he can cast spells on me? I don't think so, I'm not okay with that. See, I told you, neutral left, right here. And going into neutral left is very tempting. But the fact is, is there another elite behind me? Yeah, there is, of course there is. We're just gonna take Umbra out. We're just gonna beat them down. There we go, real simple. Okay. Well, here we go. Nucha left. I was gonna say, I kinda wanna go into Nucha left. But, um... I can't carry much right now. Just because... Of the fact that... Oh, is that a... That's a person over there, isn't that? Just because of the fact that I'm not gonna be able to carry much. Which I'm aware of, because... I have... All this ebony on me, all this raw ebony, which is great, and I love it, but I'm at 540 out of 545 right now. Let's do... Uh... Let's do one restore health. And one restore fatigue. I want to see who this is. Uh-oh. Whoa, whoever they are, they're not happy to see me. <coughs> oh, what? <coughs> oh, no. 
Oh, I thought it was just a Dunmore or something. Oh, I mean, they might still be. Oh, no, it's a Golden Saint. Ebony Staff sells for 7,000. Dragon Scale Tower Shield. And a Daedra Heart. Well, we're taking the Daedra Heart. Oh, man. Oh, the Tower Shield doesn't sell for much. Never mind. I got excited. Ooh, so the Ebony Staff... Oh, the Ebony Staff sells for 7,000. Weighs 16. You know what? Yeah, we're taking that and we're dropping the Ebony. The Ebony doesn't sell for nearly as much. Although I could just drop, like, two Ebony and I'll be fine. Let's just drop two. And I'm back under the weight limit. Beautiful. Alright, that's not too bad. So now keep my eyes east. Uh... Looking for an entrance flanked by two trees on the western slope of a hill in the center of the Grazelands. Well, I see plenty of trees, so that's not the issue here. Alright, I see you. That's right, come over here. I should probably take her Void Salts, because Void Salts sell for a decent amount as well. Also, I realized I took the Ebony Staff, but that means I need to find someone who has enough gold to buy the Ebony Staff. Which means maybe I just have to go, you know, to the Mud Crab Merchant, as I already mentioned. Wait! Almost! Do not kill me. I swear to God, do not kill me. Okay, that was real close. Okay. Oh, whoa. I hit... Wait, just as the lightning flashed. That was crazy. Uh, let's rest until healed. Maybe wait out the storm. I'm gonna... I'm gonna be real sick when I wake up. Because I'm just sleeping in the middle of a thunderstorm. Alright, so... Entrance nestled between two trees. Here in the Grazelands. That's... Gonna take me a little time to find. It's absolutely gonna take me some time to find. It's not gonna be as simple as he makes it out to be. I... That's a big tree right there. Oh! Is that a Legion Fort up here? Uh, well, let's see what the sign says over here. Oh, that's the sign just pointing me back towards Voss and Telvoss. Wait a second, am I already back at Telvoss? I am! Yeah, alright, I'm a little too far north, I think, of Neutral Left. So I gotta go a little bit further south and just find this tomb, why don't we? Oh, what do we have over here? Are they gonna be, uh, hostile towards me? Like everyone else that I've encountered recently? I told you they are. I knew it. I told you. I called it. I'm- I'm done assuming that everyone's gonna be friendly. Oh no, I'm paralyzed! I'm done trying to be friends with people. It's not working out for me. Alright, one down. I do like that. Bandits and everything. Just random NPCs have names. I kinda miss that. In the later Elder Scrolls games. Cause like, everyone has a name and even though there's nothing else beyond them really, there's no like story or anything indicating why they're doing this or who they are or anything like that. It's just a little... You know, it's a minor thing, but it just, it's very nice. I like that there's that sense of, like, personalization, almost. Just knowing that everyone has a name. It makes the world feel a little bit more alive. Even if I don't have any reason for knowing their name. I just, I like it, I guess. Alright, I believe I finally found it. I just had to keep going north from Nuchaleft, looking to the east, and not going east as soon as I reached Nuchaleft. Here we go, Nerano, Ancestral Tomb. I was indeed correct. I should never be trusted with directions, is what it comes down to. So it's ironic that I'm playing Morrowind, of all games. Uh, let's do my Saint's Black Sword and hopefully... Not oh, 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 no, 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 you've got to be kidding me. Okay, alright, he lowered my strength. Of course he did, so let's take off... Oh, no, no. Oh, do I have potions of restore strength? I do indeed. All right. Yep. All right. We're back to this. My favorite, favorite thing in the world: lesser bone walkers. I'm gonna need to stock up on more standard restore strength after this. 
Oh, great. All right. Stand to restore strength. Uh, huh. And that's back to normal. So my normal is 89. That's good to know. My gauntlet's back on. Oh, this man is dead! Danders? Who's Danders? Oh, poor, poor Danders. I hate bone walkers. I hate them so much. Uh oh. Who's back there? I hear you! Yeah, we're just gonna use Umbra. Just because of the fact that it's incredibly strong, and I'd rather just use Umbra right now. Uh, and trying to take out some of these guys. Morris! You boys better clear out. Our position was given away, and we were raided by that bastard, Goris. He sent a small band of the dead to Dralis and wiped all, wiped out all but Leuven. He was able to make back here to Nellis to warn us. We are clearing out and heading for a new location. I suggest you and your boys get out of here. Uh, get out of there as soon as possible. We have a snitch in our organization. You let me find out who it is, and I'll feed their flesh to the crabs. It seems as though he knows all our raiding routes. It's just a matter of time before Goris sends them damned and dead your way. I'll never turn those goods over to that necro. What's fair is fair, and he had to pay up. You know where I'm coming from. I'm sending Ersine to deliver this message to you. She will deliver a key so you can gain entry into the rendezvous point. See you soon, and good luck, brother. I'm taking this, because that seems like a, an opportunity to, uh, you know, possibly get some loot and take out some bandits, and that's always good to me. Ursine. Oh, good. She has the key for the Indaran tomb. She has 10 gold. To take that. It's a good thing gold doesn't weigh you down. I would only be able to carry my gold. Ooh, Nerano chest. Alright, there we go. Or at least, you know, the key to the Nerano chest. We have an exquisite ring, which sells for 240. I'll take that. We have 25 gold. We have just bone meal, makes sense, yeah. And what is this book over here? Is it worth reading? The Ransom of Zarek. Athletics increased to 45. Not too shabby. Oh, this door is trapped. Alright, let's put my probe on. Do I have a probe? I'm sure I do. There we go. Trap failed. 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 There we go. I hear something on the other side. Oh, okay. That was simple. You there! Vampire! Do not dare try to turn me into one of you foul creatures of the night. Hey! I said don't turn me into a foul creature of the night. Okay. Okay. Well, he didn't... He didn't put anything on me. I don't have any active effects or any long-lasting effects. Vampire Death sells for 500. It sells for like 100 in Skyrim. Oh, yeah, I'm taking that. You kidding me? Oh, why don't I have my torch out? I said take your torch out. There you go. Chest trapped. Anything here that I want? Not really. It doesn't look like. So let's put my probe on. Failed. Failed. There we go. Oh, one gold. Wow. Wonderful. Isn't that exquisite? Cheap fire resistance? No. Just bone meal? Yep, no. And gonna be more bone meal. Just you watch. Just more bone meal. Alright. So I'm tempted to go back to, uh... Tell Voss first. Tell Voss or to Voss because of the fact that I could just sell stuff there. Like, I'm close to being over encumbered. I might as well just go there first to sell stuff. Yeah, that, that's what I'll do. I will just go there, sell stuff, and then we'll return back to uh, the Zainab camp. And be like, hey, guess what? I took care of that vampire for you. He really wasn't too bad in the end. But I shouldn't say, I should not phrase it like that. Because I want them to be impressed by me. If I say, oh no, it wasn't that hard, that can go either way. Either they're gonna say, oh, this guy's really good, or oh, if it wasn't that hard, why are we using this as his test to say that, yes, he's the Nereverine? So it can definitely go either way for me.
Oh, fuck. Okay. I, uh, I came into the Telvas Tower, and there's a Daedra back here. <laughs> I don't know what, uh, there's a Dremora, yeah. I wasn't expecting this. Oh, I absolutely was not expecting this. Okay. Umbra time. Umbra's just my answer to everything. I hear footsteps. Is someone mad that I killed this Daedra? Steel longbow. It's worth a hundred. And it's gonna be another steel longbow. Yep, just, uh, just a hundred. I was not expecting this. Daedric staff sells for 14,000. Ooh, boy, oh boy. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna... Wait a second, so that sells for 7,000, this sells for 14,000, this weighs 16, where is this weighs? 24. Um, well, you know what, I can I can come back for him later. I was not expecting that, I really was not. I hope no one's mad that I killed that, uh, Dramora. It was self-defense, I swear. Hello there, Rock Hawthory. This is Telvas. If you need services, just ask. I'm just looking What's around. That? What do we have over here? Anything that I care about? No, not at all. Not at all. I wasn't expecting it. I'm just in Telvas looking for a traitor. And lo and behold, there's just a Dramora in here attacking me. I wasn't expecting that at all, no. I'm just looking for a merchant. Leave me alone, everyone. So I came to the traitor in Telmora, and... She refuses to trade until this corporate stalker is taken care of. What corporate stalker? We were able to trap it upstairs, but no one wants to risk disease by getting close to it. Normally, Master Aryan would take care of it, but he's been so busy recently. Are you saying that you're up to the challenge? Uh, sure, yeah. Excellent, have at it, but be careful. Well, it just so happens that I'm the Nereverine. I'm not gonna get anything from this. Oh, there he is! Oh, look! Oh, look, you trapped him! Oh, I like that. You actually trapped him back there. Wonderful. You're welcome, by the way. Can I... Wait, no, I didn't want to open that. I'm trying to jump over... I can't jump over this. Can I? Wait. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay, never mind. Let's not do that anymore. Let's not try that. I don't want the, uh, the corporate sweepings that badly. Ah, my friend George. How may I be of service to you? Thanks for dispatching... That corporate stalker, George, you obviously have great skill. Now, what do you have? You have 600 gold. Only 600 gold. Well, you know what? I can still sell you the raw ebony that I have left. I can sell you... This Daedra heart. And I can sell you... A couple... Of these void salts. Now, let's... Ask for a little bit more gold, because, you know, I just helped you out, and you're not paying me. There you go. Maybe I should have asked for more. Maybe I should have. But this is a wondrous encounter. Let's see, four ninety out of five forty-five carry weight. That's not too bad. I would like to sell my other ebony. I'd like to sell. Wait, do I have? No, I sold the ebony. I would like to sell the vampire dust. I would like to sell the void salts. But none of that weighs too much. And I'd like to sell the ebony staff. But I need to find someone willing to pay me seven thousand gold. We're in that ballpark. Not many people have that kind of money, what can I say? Nona's house? No thank you. I'll just take another look around, see if there's anything or anyone that I can sell to. Apothecary. And... Smith, here we go. They're not gonna have that much money. Fortune favors me, George. I'm Radras. Mistress Dratha, Mage Lord, and Telvani Counselor is our patron, Ken. Help you find your way around Telmora? No, 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 I'm just here to barter. 750 gold. Alright, so nothing that I really want to... Well, I, I don't have much I can sell to her. Maybe... No, she's not going to buy the Void Salt. Who am, I, who am I kidding? Okay, well, the Apothecary will buy the Void Salt and the Vampire Dust, so I'll just head over to her then. Hey there, Jolda. How you doing? It's Barter. You have 400 gold. You only have 400 gold. Alright, well, let's see what spells you have. Not spells, potions you have. Because you might have something of use to me. Quality, restore health. Yes. Let's buy... Uh, cheap restore health. No, thank you. 
you have any standard restore health? No, she doesn't. Uh, alright, well. Take that. And now, I can sell you... My... I sell her all five void salts. Oh, alright, no, I just have a very low disposition with her, I suppose. Well, no, that's not gonna work. So let's take back couple of the Void Salts. And let's try to raise this to 400. Ah, let's do 405. Hey! Not too shabby. Alright. Now back to Zainab Camp. Uh, oh, they have a merchant. I don't know if they're gonna really have much in terms of gold. They're Ashlanders, after all. But yeah, still, yeah. back to Zainab Camp to tell them that I took care of the little vampire problem. Alright, at long last, back at the Zainab camp. Hello! I don't know. Kaushad. It is such an honor to meet you. We've met before, or do you not remember? Welcome, Outlander. He's talking to me like I haven't talked to him before. Well, let's talk about Calvario. Dead! Well then, perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps you should be the Nereverine. Well, so you killed the vampire Calvario. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Well, I will be happy to acknowledge you as Zainab Nereverine, but it is customary for one seeking an honor from the Ashkan to offer the Ashkan a generous gift as a mark of respect. Because you are an outlander and do not know our customs, I will do you the great favor of naming the gift. I wish to receive a highborn Telvani bride, a pretty one, plump, with the big hips, to bring me many sons. This is... Alright, this is taking a weird turn. This is taking a very... Very odd turn indeed. Where will you find a Highborn Telvani bride? That is simple, you should visit Highborn Telvani lords and inform them that the Ashkan Kaushad of the lordly Zainab would do them the honor of making their daughters his bride. Surely many Telvani lords would be honored to receive such an offer. Consider carefully the many daughters offered and choose for me the finest. Take counsel with my wise woman, Sonomu Zabamat. She knows my mind well in such matters. Alright, he took a very, very weird turn. He seemed like a nice, normal, almost honorable guy. And now he just seems... Well... I, I don't even know where to start with him. Definitely changes my opinion of him. Alright, so I have to find... His... Wise woman. She's probably just going to be in one of these huts. <sighs> that, alright. I, I thought that was all it was going to take. I thought it was going to be as simple as, Oh yeah, you killed the vampire, problem solved. Of course it's not that simple. It's never that simple. Of course there has to be something weird and I almost perverted about you. it. We welcome you freely, Outland. Yeah, can we talk about, um, about your Ashcan and his very odd request? I am Sonomu Zabamat, wise woman of the Zainab. Do you come... For my services or my counsel? Your counsel, unfortunately. Kaushad wants a Telvani bride? Eh? No highborn Telvani would wed an Ashlander, but I have a plan. Go to my friend, Savil Iman, slave mistress of the festival slave market in Tel Arun, and tell her you need a pretty dumber slave to pose as a Telvani lady. Then, Savil Iman will tell you what clothes to buy and will dress her like a highborn Telvani. Then escort the pretty slave to Zainab camp and present her to Ashkan Kashoud as a highborn Telvani bride. He won't know the difference. Okay, so I'm very glad that even the wise woman recognizes that Kashoud is one nuts. Well, he's nuts in a lot of re for a lot of reasons. One because he thinks that a Telvani would Mary and Ashlander. It's like, even I knew, just right off the bat, that that was never going to happen. So I was confused that he requested it in the first place. Okay, so I'm, I'm glad that someone else here has some sense. Because I was worried that I was the only one who had any sense in the whole Zainab camp. And in that case, it's like, do I really care about their council? Do I really care if they name me Noreverine or not? Tell me about uh, Telerun. Telerun is the wizard's... Tower and village of the Telvani Archmagister Gothrin. Let me mark it on your map. Travel cross country to the southeast until you reach the water. Telerun is on an island in Zafirbel. Is that how it's pronounced? Zafirbel Bay. 
A long swim from the short, from the Dummer stronghold, Induranyan. Indoranyan goes south. From Sageth Mora, Telerun is due west. From Telfir, Telerun is north. Here's another landmark. <laughs> Jeez. Thiralas Ancestral Tomb is on the mainland. Near the bay, Telerun is the second island southeast from this tomb. Tell me about your friend, Savil Iman. Savil Iman is the slave mistress of the festival slave market in Telerun. The market is on the northwest side of the village. That is where you will find her. Can you, can you talk about Kaushad? Because I thought he was going to be a reasonable, smart man, and it just turns out that he's kind of creepy. He's a clever Ashkan and a great man. He is not a modest man. He is very proud and conscious of his rights and honors. It is fortunate for our tribe that he heeds the counsel of his modest and loyal wise woman. You're talking very highly of yourself, I've noticed. Alright. Oh boy, oh boy. That is a long ways away. Zaffir Belt Bay is what? Like, down here, sort of. Well, wait a second. Sageth Mora. Telfir. Telerun. Yeah, alright. We got... We got a while to go. I... I could walk it, or I could take a boat from... Uh, Voss or Telmora over to... Either to Telerun or to Sageth Mora. Either way. That's probably my best bet at getting over there without walking for the next three and a half days. <laughs> this one honors us. Alright. More travel time, everybody. More travel time. Okay, so fortunately, the uh, the boat swain over at Voss will take me straight to Telerun, so that makes my life a little bit simpler. So I'm very happy to that. That makes my life simpler. I don't have to do as much traveling. Fortunately for me. So let me just check my journal real fast. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing, but still. Slave market in Telerun. Okay. So I might need to ask around and ask where specifically the slave market is, but it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, I also realize that slavery is legal in Morrowind, but isn't it outlawed pretty much everywhere else in the Empire, but it's the thing of since... Morrowind is still ruled by the tribunal. The, tri the tribunal's laws are still the ones that matter, are still the ones in effect, as opposed to imperial laws. Although the whole point of, you know, imperial, uh, well, not occupation, but imperial presence in Morrowind is that they're hoping to overtake Morrowind, that they're hoping that by, remo by removing the tribunal from power that they will be able to take over Morrowind and integrate it into the Empire. You do not have any information about... Oh, well, services. Here we go. Public services, including an enchanter, a smith, a trader, and an apothecary lie northeast of the tower. There's a publican at the Plot and, Pastor tr Plot and Plaster trade house. A mage's guild member in residence there who offers training. Seville runs the festival slave market northwest of the tower. At Telerun Tower itself, we have an Apothecary, Alchemist, Enchanter, Healer, all Telvani Retainers. Okay. So I don't want to be in here then. What is going on down here? You're not what I expected. What is going on down ah, here? Friend, how does the day greet you? Oh, these are the slaves. These are the slaves, gotcha. I was. I don't know, I just thought they were doing some sort of weird chant or something. They're just all standing in a circle around a fire. It seems like some sort of weird cult thing. I also like how in front of the guards, slaves were just like, You! Hey! You! No! You! You! Let me go free! Please! Right now! I'm like, there's, there's guards right here. They're staring at me. I don't think so. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm here to... Well, to hopefully find... The, uh, the slave market, so that I can... Wait, I'm, I'm gonna be part of the slave market! Well, I'm not in the slave market, but I'm gonna be participating in it. I'm gonna be buying a slave. Oh. Now I feel bad. I don't wanna buy a slave. They can't make me do that. Oh, well. So I probably could have gone through the underground area to come back out here. I'm guessing, but I'm just 
you know, I'm trying to figure out where exactly I'm supposed to be going. Alright, so the slave market is... Well, I already forgot. Hey there. May I help you? How's it going? I already forgot where I'm going. I know it's a little embarrassing. You're an officer of the Imperial Law. Move along. Well, I'm... I was gonna ask about services, but no, never mind. You don't care. You don't wish to help me out here, it would seem. Because it's not in the tower itself, it said... I think they said northeast of the tower. Tower entry. Okay, so I don't want to be up here at all. I'll find it, don't you worry. Alright, looks like I found the slave camp northwest side of the village, just like it said in my journal. Hello there. Ah, oh, Seville, there you are. How are you? You're dressed very nicely. Walk with virtue, Outlander. Thank you. Welcome, George, to the Festival Slave Market, the finest slaves in all of Ardenfell. I'm Seville Iman. I know we have just the slave for you. Are you looking for household slaves, George, or are you looking for something special? I'm looking for something special, unfortunately. You need a slave to pose as a highborn Telvani lady? Sweet Alma. That Sonomu Zabamat and her cunning plans, I do have the slave you want. Falula Lervu, a pretty Dunmer girl, but first you must get an exquisite shirt, an exquisite skirt, and exquisite shoes to dress her. Go get these exquisite clothes and bring them to me, and we, then we shall discuss a price for her. How much do I have to pay out of pocket for this? This is gonna be ridiculous. Where can you get expensive clothes? Tell Mora. Elig. Telegnan, the clothier, she has some very nice things. See the clothes I'm wearing? Exquisite shirt, exquisite skirt, exquisite shoes. I bought them at her shop. Maybe you should try her. When you have the exquisite clothes, we can talk about the something special you are looking for. Over in Telmore. Wait, Telmore? I have to go all the way back to Telmora? Yeah, I gotta go back to Telmora. I'm just going in circles now. I mean, fortunately, the boat goes directly back to Telmora, but still, it would be nice if the, uh, if the clothier here in Telerun had the exquisite things as well. Well, I can, I could check the clothier. Is there a clothier, or is it just the general trader? Enchanter, tower entry, pot, plot and plaster, smith, apothecary, trader. Okay, well, I was already at the trader just to sell a couple random things, and they didn't have exquisite clothes by any means, so never mind. So yes, we gotta go back and check the cloth here over in Telmora, then. I'm gonna have no money left by the end of all this, because I have to buy a slave. Like, I don't know what a slave normally goes for in, uh, just in, in Morrowind in general. Because I've got 20,000 gold. For all I know, she's gonna say, oh, what do you have? I'm gonna say, I have 20,000 gold, and she says, there you go, that's enough. And then, there you go, I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna be poor. I'll be the Nereverine, according to the Zainab, but I'll be poor, and that doesn't help me at all. Alright, tell Mora, take me away. Walk with virtue, Outlander. I don't want to walk with virtue, I want to walk with money in my pocket and without buying slaves. Is there something you need? I just need you to move. Just, just move. Just go. Okay, I realize your head is probably hitting the hitbox. Okay, nope. I think their head's just hitting the hitbox for this. Move! I could kill that there we go. Those boots are ruined. All right, so now on to the clothier. Trader? No. Nona's house? No. I think this is just a general trader as well. Apothecary? No. Liette's house? No. Well... Wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, yeah, let me go find this clothier then. May I help you? Okay, that didn't take too long. I think this might be it right over here. Let's see. Yes, it is. I thought I'd be walking around town and it would take me 10 minutes to find, but no, here you are. Welcome to Telmoro, George. How can I help you? I would just like to trade. I'd like to buy an exquisite shirt. 
If you have an exquisite shirt, please tell me you have an exquisite shirt in your inventory. Expensive shirt? No. Exquisite shirt. Oh god, this is gonna cost me. Just one. Thank you, but just the one. That's enough. Exquisite robe? No, I need an exquisite skirt and exquisite shoes. Exquisite shoes. Just one. Nice try. Expensive skirt? No, exquisite. Exquisite, please. Exquisite skirt. There we go. Just one. And let's maybe try to negotiate that down a little bit. Or I can sell her something, but I don't think I have anything that she's going to want. No, I don't believe so. Well, let's just negotiate it down a little. Let's see if I can get her to agree to 275. I did! Okay, that's not too bad. Well, thank you. Alright. Now, uh, back to Telerune. Oh. I feel dirty. I feel dirty yes, and I feel uh, guilty. I am. What do you want? I'm buying a person and giving them. Please, go ahead, I'm to I'm a somewhat delusional Ashcan to be his bride. So that he can have tons of children. I feel... I feel bad. To say the very least. Ugh. I don't like this. I'm, I'm unhappy with myself. And I have Please, no one to blame but myself. Like